if you use conversion API, you send information from your users or clients directly to Facebook. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Constant Magic, and uh, this is what you need to know about conversion API and consent, and not only conversion API, uh, advanced matching, something else from Facebook and consent. Well, you know the traditional message about consent that you see on uh, almost every website. It's about we use cookies, we track your moves, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, this traditional message is not enough. It fails to mention other technologies um, like Facebook conversion API. In this particular case with Facebook conversion API, cookies are not involved. You collect data from your users, like name, address, phone number, and you send it. You send it directly to Facebook. No cookies involved here. Um, we usually, uh, you usually send uh, things like first name, last name, email address, phone number, state, country, and zip code to Facebook. If you know this data, if you have this data about from about your uh, website visitor, you will send it uh, when you send conversion API events. Uh, as you can see, this is private information that your customers or visitors share with you when they buy something or they create an account and you send it to Facebook. A similar things happens when you have advanced matching. Advanced matching is not related to server side events, conversion API events, but to browser events. Um, we, you actually, you, your website, uh, sends additional information um, with the browser events, the same kind of uh, stuff, the same kind of data, uh, first name, last name, uh, email address, phone number, state and country and zip code can be sent with uh, uh, browser events as advanced, ma advanced matching data and Facebook will use it to match the person that triggered the events to a Facebook um, account. This is how matching is done with advanced matching. And in a similar way, conversion API events uh, data does the same thing, allows Facebook to match the person triggering conversion API events to a Facebook uh, account. So it's pretty obvious that in these instances, the old traditional uh, consent message is not enough. You must tell your visitors that you collect this data that you send it to Facebook and explain why. And for some jurisdiction like uh, definitely GDPR countries, but not limited to, G to GDPR countries, GDPR countries are mostly European countries, uh, you must give them the possibility to say, don't send my data to Facebook. It's not, it's not ideal, but it's mandatory, it's required by law in a lot of countries and uh, you should do it. Let me show you how um, Consent Magic, our plugin, does this if um, Conversion API is implemented with Pixel Your Site. So for this particular uh, part, we right now have integration just with uh, between with the Pixel Your Site. For um, normal uh, Pixel events, we can control them no matter how they are installed. But for Conversion API, is a bit more limited at this point. So. This is my uh, uh, demo website. This is Constant Magic. We have this link to script blocking. As you can see, I, we have a list, a large list of default scripts that we identify and block we, without you doing anything. Facebook pixel is right here. And you can um, attribute the, uh, add it to a category. You can control categories from here. You can add categories if you need. By default, uh, the Facebook pixel is under marketing. Now, we also have this special tab for Facebook. And uh, if pixel your site is detected, like in this case, you can enable the option to show separately advanced matching and conversion API consent. And you can um, add the text that you want to display to your visitors. And let me show you how it works on the front end. Okay, so I visit your website. 
I see this uh, message about uh, tracking, I don't want to say allow all. I want to go to more options. And I can read about various types of uh, tracking and scripts that you use. Now I reach marketing, I turn it on, and automatically Facebook advanced matching with the text and Facebook uh, conversion API with the text are also turned on. But what it means, it means that uh, with this setup, everything will work for the pixel, Facebook pixel. Uh, the browser events will work, advanced matching will work for the browser events and conversion API will work, meaning that conversion API server to server events will work as well. But if I turn this off, because I say, oh no, don't, don't send my private data, and I click on confirm my choices, well, the Facebook pixel will work because it's under marketing, but this part, conversion API, will be disabled. Similar to this one, the Facebook pixel will work because it's under marketing, but Facebook advanced matching, so the extra information that I send with uh, the browser events will stop working. I will, we, we will not send this kind of information. The, the, the kind of private data that you collect from your users. So, uh, in this way, you allow, you, you, you inform your visitors uh, about the extra things that the Facebook Pixel can do, like advanced matching and Facebook conversion API, and you give them the choice to say no. Of course, in my case, I will allow all. And if you uh, go to uh, click on allow all, everything will work. So the Facebook pixel browser events, advanced matching for browser events, and of course, conversion API. This is the ideal situation. We all hope that most visitor, visitors will say allow all, but you need to, you need to inform them about uh, conversion API and advanced matching, you need to explain why you do it, how you do it, what kind of data you share with Facebook and hopefully uh, get their permission. Of course, if you don't want to show separate categories for advanced matching and conversion API, let me show you, you just go here, turn them off, update settings. And um, they won't be visible anymore. So uh, if you decide not to um, add extra information, separate information about advanced matching and conversion API, you can do it. But for uh, GDPR countries and for CCPA, so California users, you probably need to do it. You probably need to add this extra bit of information about how you share private data using conversion API or advanced matching with Facebook. Again, this works right now, the advanced matching part and conversion API, just for Facebook uh, Pixel if it's uh, done, integrated using Pixel your site. In the future, we plan to add more capabilities and uh, support other plugins as well, but for now, this part is just for Pixel Your Site. All the rest, all the normal browser events and the scripts work regardless if the uh, tag, the, the pixel or the tag is implemented with Pixel Your Site or by something else. So that part is not uh, dependent on Pixel Your Site. You can add scripts and tags by any means and we will detect them. Uh, but this part is just uh, with Pixel Your Site. Remember, inform your visitors about conversion API and advanced matching and give them the option to say no.